Hello and welcome to ZTN, the News Blitz. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Owen Kaura. Let's take a quick look at our top stories. Lawyers accused of stalling corruption cases. Zimbabwe moves to reduce violence in jails. A tribunal rules that calling men bold is sexual harassment. And in sport, Lulu's fate hangs on Dimbare clash. Uh, but first, uh, following accusations uh, that high-profile corruption cases are taking uh, too long to be concluded in what has been termed catch and release, Zimbabwe's Chief Prosecutor Michael Reza says defence lawyers are to blame. Uh, speaking at a national anti-corruption in Daba held in Harare on Thursday, Reza said that some lawyers are lodging appeals at each stage of the trials, making it difficult to speedily conclude cases. is creeping into Zimbabwe and other countries as well, a new phenomenon um, called the Stalingrad defense mechanism. This is a mechanism where the lawyer will make an application at each and every stage. And when I say each and every stage, I mean it. They will start by making an application against the placement of remand. Meanwhile, Norton legislator Temba Mliswa accused the National Prosecuting Authority of sitting on more than 300 corruption dockets. Let's be honest, why were you sitting on 300 dockets which is not a bad, a waste of taxpayers' money? And you think as parliament you must support that? The National Prosecuting Authority denied the accusations. It is not correct, with the greatest of respect, Honorable, to say that the NPA was sitting on over 300 dockets. That is not factually correct. The situation is we have dockets that have come from ZAC, we have dockets that have come from ZRP. They are at different stages of prosecution. We cannot rush and say, we want to make people happy. We are going to take people into court when there is an application which has been made. The prison authorities in Zimbabwe are working on ending violence among inmates. This comes against the background of some criminals convicted of violent crimes failing to cope with lengthy sentences and resorting to violence. The Zimbabwe Prisons and Correctional Services has engaged an international peace education program organization, Prem Rewat Foundation, in a bid to promote peace and coexistence among prisoners. Now, some officers have also undertaken the program to bolster their understanding of offender rehabilitation. The extended education within our institutions has seen the transformation of life, especially those who were treated as high risk illness. Some of them have managed to successfully undergo the peace education training program, with some testimonies shall bear witness to the success of the program. The founder of the Premier Award Foundation speaks. Because we don't know who we are. Peace begins with understanding who Now, an employment tribunal in the UK has ruled that calling someone bold at work is sexual harassment. The decision relates to a claim brought by Tony Finn against the West Yorkshire-based British bank company, where he worked as an electrician for 24 years before he was fired in May 2021. He complained that he was a victim of sexual harassment due to comments made about his lack of hair, including being called a bold chap by factory supervisor J.B. King during an argument in 2019. And of course, I do certainly agree with that uh, ruling. Up next, sports.
And we start with the Zimbabwe Premiership of Football, where the biggest fixtures this weekend is the Highlanders' the Dynamo's clash at Baba Fields on Sunday. Now the spotlight is on Highlanders coach Mandla Mpofu, who some fans believe should be sacked. Mpofu, however, believes he is still the right man for the job. That's, that's the fact. But uh, we need to appreciate the feeling of our fans. They really want the team to win and they... I'm the only person that can turn around all those things to make sure that the team wins. But uh, it's a pleasure job, what can I do? But for now, I think, uh, let's look at the positive. Let me channel all the energy to make sure that we, the boys are concerned and make sure that they give those fans that uh, they are very important to us. And that's it on News Bliss. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, up next is World in Five.